What's up Aries? How's it going? I hope everybody is having an amazing week. Let's get right into your reading. We're going to continue on with the love readings closing out this week of February. Still giving away the two free love readings. So for those of you that are new, I'm grateful you're here. Go ahead and subscribe um, so you can take part in the two free love readings I'm giving away this month. And then each and every month will be a different giveaway. By subscribing, leave a flower emoji in the comment section letting me know that you're interested in the giveaway. And then at the end of the month, which is only a few days away, I'll remind everyone to check their notifications because three, two people will be randomly chosen and you will hear from me. Then I'll announce March's giveaway. Perfect timing. Something that is divinely guided and within perfect timing. There is action being taken here, and it's fast action. And reconsider. You might have been thinking about giving up on something, um, on someone. Spirit is saying to reconsider, but we definitely will clarify what that reconsider is. For my Aries. Love my Aries. My dad's an Aries. So I love my Aries. Alright, Spirit Aries energy in terms of love. Okay. Queen of Cups. You're ready. Emotionally ready. You may have some water in your chart. Yeah, but you're letting go of certain burdens within your love life. Becoming emotionally stable, you know, you know what you want in terms of who who you want to hand your cup of love over to. The type of person you want to offer your heart to. And you're letting go of the worry, of the burdens. The person coming towards a spirit. Four of Pentacles, someone that has been holding back. Now, you see that they're holding this pentacle very close to their, their chest. You know, it's they're working hard. They're staying focused on their career and their work. I feel like this person has been through some financial difficulties or some struggles within their life. And they're holding on and clutching very tight to them what they have left of themselves, what they may have left of their finances. All right, we'll take these. These wanted to fly out too. The Nine of Swords. This person is heavily thinking about you. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone either that you met through work or by doing business with them or like I said, is so focused on their work and their career right now that they may have been making love their last priority. And Spirit, what is going to be the overall outcome? between Aries and this person, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I definitely feel some earth in their chart, very heavy earth, but they want this union. They are making their way towards you, and I do feel that they want to come in more established so that they can offer something more long-term. But whether they're sitting on the couch with you or they're out and about running errands and having fun with family and friends together, it's they, they just want to be in their in your energy. They just want to be with you. They are going to take that leap of faith towards you. Spirit, please clarify, reconsider. Yeah, I feel deep down you know this person is your wish fulfillment. You're trying to be patient with the connection. You're wondering from time to time, should you just let it go? You know that this is your... That, that they are your wish fulfillment. Spirit saying give it some time. This person is going to find their way back to you and make this a priority. All right, Spirit. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there is some sadness here. 
and you are healing. I do feel you're trying to be as patient as possible, but you're trying to find that even balance within yourself. Look at this. A lot of feelings and emotions for one another. It is what you're feeling for this person, Aries. They're feeling just as much for you. So we have water, we have earth. And then we have Libra and Taurus, Sagittarius, Virgo, Capricorn. But you are, you are going to come together. They view you, Aries, as being so all put together so strong um i feel your energy may have made them nervous at times you know it might have seemed a little intimidating to them because they they weren't content on what they could offer you so their their focus was on themselves but i feel it was more on you know building up their confidence and their self-worth so they felt you know happier about what they could offer you Spirit, what action is this person going to take towards Aries? What action is this? Okay. The Knight of Cups. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, they're not giving up. They are thinking about the future with you. It's like get ready to have your heart melted because this person is going to take action towards you. Right, spirit, divine timing. They could be a distance away from you. There may be some traveling. That might have been some of the issue, not being able to see each other as much, or they might even travel for work. But you think about each other so much. At times, you may start to feel like you're losing hope because there's no action being taken. But this reading is letting you know that the action is coming. They want to move past the troubled waters. They want better memories ahead with you. And Spirit is saying to reconsider that you know deep down that this person is a wish fulfillment. Something that you've prayed hard on or manifested hard for. All right, let's take it. Tower moment. I feel my life is falling apart and being pulled apart. No matter what I try to build, things keep crumbling all around me. I wish I were I wish you were here to help me. You were the one person that made me feel solid. Remember, they showed up in the energy for front and foremost as the four of pentacles. So they're clutching what is left of them within their soul, within their mind, within their heart, within their finances. What they felt for you at the time that they met you, they weren't anticipating and telepathic. But I do feel a stronger bond here. You feel their energy, Aries. You know you do. You know in your intuition that there is something more here. Let's see what this message is. I feel you through everything. The things I touch, the images I see, and the voices I hear. We are connected throughout this universe, even if we're miles apart. I really feel that this is something that has played over in many lifetimes. That's why you feel it's so intense. But this person is not going to give up. They are going to be resilient within themselves and keep building and focusing on that. But they are going to take action. We have I, O, T, N. E, L, J. All right, so take what resonates, Aries. Make sure you're watching your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement. But there is going to be action taken towards you. I love that you have like lightened your load. You're not worrying about this as much. You're moving on the best way you can. And you've definitely become emotionally grounded with what you want. 
Spirit is saying reconsider. This person is coming in with their best intentions. And they're coming in at a speed of what was good for them. They had a lot to work out within themselves. All right, love and light, Aries.